Today we're going to look at a little a single action revolver called the Western Six. This was made by Kimball Industries in Matthews, North Carolina. Now we're going to do things a little differently. I'm going to show you the pistol and some of the features, but I have zero background information other than what I've just said. So if you know anything about this little Western Six, please leave it in the comments below or send me a PM. The Western Six. This is a pretty neat little single action revolver. Now, from what I understand, it was this gun was made in the 50s, 60s era, and it's really very similar to the Heritage Arms, the Rough Rider, or possibly the uh, the FIEs that were imported. It does have a uh, an alloy frame, but with a steel barrel, steel cylinder, and uh, and it's uh, hardwood grips. This gold plating is rather unusual, and uh, it's in the cylinder, of course, and the hammer, trigger, uh, the pin that holds cylinder pin, and uh, just it's just a unique little pistol. I did clean it up. This was actually for a good friend of mine, one of the ladies at church, that um, had had it for years and really just wanted me to kind of clean it up for her and test fire it, which I did. Really, I enjoyed shooting it, and it was very accurate just a neat little pistol with it being 22 long rifle you know and i'm sure you can put 22 shorts uh you know it was it was a fun to shoot and uh you know the durability on it, it doesn't have to be quite as strong with it shooting 22. now a single action revolver does not actuate the hammer with the trigger and as you can see i can pull the trigger and it does absolutely nothing to the hammer but what happens is you have to manually pull the hammer back and that cocks it and then when you pull the trigger it releases the sear that allows the hammer to fall and then you have to repeat the process by pulling the hammer back again uh, in the old, same old style as the Colt 45 single actions and uh, just to pull it back one of the things I'll warn you of is not to fan and if you've seen the old westerns where they just grab their hand and pow 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 this can really I know you love those sound effects. This can really uh, damage your pistol. Another thing you don't want to do is to spin the cylinder. It causes excess wear here in these notches. A couple of things just to take care of your pistol. A pistol can last a lifetime. In fact, it should last three or four lifetimes, if not longer, just by taking care of, of this, uh, this piece. They, they, can, they are heirloom pieces, and they need to be treated as such. Even this gun, which is not a very high quality revolver, but it is a firearm and there are pressures that, that occur here, keeping something like this clean really makes a difference in the long run. Now there are no safeties on this pistol and the reason why is because the safety is because you have to manually pull the hammer back for the gun to fire. But there's also no hammer transfer bar right here and that means that if the round, if there's a round in the chamber and the, the uh, hammer is hit, it can cause a discharge. So most of these old style pistols like this, it's recommended not to have a round in front of the hammer. So it's much more safe. This is just a six shot, but do not keep a round in here. If you were to drop this, it could accidentally discharge. Similar to the Colt single actions, this has a little screw that needs to be um, let up for this cylinder pin to come out. 
and you know I really that's one of the things about the Colt that I like less than the Ruger single six because you can just push the pin in um, but this does release this pin it comes right out you want to be careful because the cylinder can fall out but you open up the loading gate pull the hammer back just a little and pull it out of course this gun was safety checked before I started but as you can see it is unloaded it's a six shot it looks like it's had some wear on it from uh, from storage but you know it's just really good to help out those you can and uh, I just thought that uh, in fact I really wasn't going to do a review on it but I decided when I saw it was made in Matthews North Carolina I just thought hey you know this is just kind of an unusual piece I did I searched all over the web and just got really nothing so um, just a neat little revolver if you ever find one of course check it out first goes back in the same way through the loading gate push your pin through once it's aligned sometimes these little single actions can be a little tricky there it goes once it's in place then your screw just goes right back in little single action 22's can be a lot of fun and they're cheap to shoot. Now I really like these grips, these golden colored hardwood grips. Very nice and uh, very finely finished. In fact, th there's not hardly any wear on the grips themselves. But just a little look at the gun. Just kind of an unusual piece. We'll see if you can see it right here. Made in the USA for Kimmel Industries, Wilson, North Carolina. And then on this side, Western 6 caliber 22 long rifle. There are no other uh, writings or anything on the barrel. There is a serial number down here at the butt of the pistol. It has the, the basic uh, notched sights here with a blade on the front. Uh, it's uh, like a, it's a, uh, the barrel itself is four and three quarter inches. And the gun weighs about a pound and 14 ounces. A nice little hefty piece, but not very heavy. Uh, just a nice size revolver uh, and a pleasure to shoot. Now, if you know anything about these pistols, please drop me a line. And uh, I'd love for you to leave it in the comments so others can read it. It just really uh, helps others to, to uh, find out. You know, a lot of guys come up with stuff like this out of uh, grandparents or, or wherever and they just want to find a little information about it so I'd love for you to, to uh, leave your comments of anything that you know about this little Western 6 pistol. As always thanks for watching please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival God bless America long live the Republic I like this. Cheat, cheat.